y'all, what an excellent fight. What an excellent fight last night, y'all. I mean, a tremendous fight between Julian J. Rock Williams and Jared Hurd, man. J. Rock pulls off the upset last night, and he did it in tremendous fashion, y'all. I got to give all credit to J. Rock last night, man. He put on a show for the fans to see, and it was beautiful. That was one of the best fights I've seen in a long time. And I got I got to give a lot of credit to Al Heyman and the PBC, because y'all know y'all like to, y'all like to, you know, Talk bad about them a lot when they put on a lot of matches that y'all don't want to see. Y'all say they don't pull off a lot of great matchups. But last night, they put on a great card, man. And um, this, this was a tremendous fight all the way around, man. Jared Hurd, he likes to come in and rehydrate to, up to be the bigger guy in a lot of fights. And I think he relies on that. Um, his, his sheer size and strength to walk people down. But you cannot rely on that in boxing. And that's not going to work every single time. J-Rock already fought one of the scariest, uh, bigger fighters out there in Jamal Charlo. He lost, got knocked out, and he learned from that. And he fought Jared Hurd well, man. His inside game was beautiful. He didn't allow um, he didn't allow for enough space. He didn't back up and allow Jared Hurd to walk him down and hit him with them long bombs that he likes to throw. throw. He kept everything in close quarters. And he was hitting... I promise y'all, he was hitting Jared Hurd with some amazing, some amazing, beautiful uppercuts. I mean, them left hooks, them right hooks, I'm like, oh my God. And this is the thing, Jared Hurd's lack of head movement, his lack of head movement, it, it, it had him in trouble all night. Now, we know he doesn't transition from offense to defense well. We know he's not hard to hit, but he was a stationary target last night. He wanted none of that from Jared Hurd. And I mean, I mean, I mean from, excuse me, from J-Rod. And this is the thing. I felt like J-Rock could have went to the body more. But he was so effective with them head shots. He was hitting them across the temple. And Jared Hurd could not handle that. He got dropped in that second round. And everybody like, oh, my God. Because Jared Hurd fighting in front of his hometown, his home crowd, his fans, his fans. And he getting beat. And I'm like, and I'm like, wow, he getting hit. Like, I promise y'all, I'm up front. My lady in the back, she hit me in the front cursing. Because I'm like, oh, my God. Like, Jared, you getting hit with some devastating shots. And I took some notes down on this. I had to take some notes down, man. Um, Julian, J-Rock was in great shape, man. He came in in great shape with great endurance to be able to endure the physically bigger guy. Uh, uh, Jared Hurd, you know, from, likes to lay on fighters sometimes with all that weight. Some people get tired and they get sluggish from that. But it proved that Jared Hurd was the guy getting tired. In the later rounds, I saw how lethargic he was. It was to the point where in like the ninth round, like the, the late the late rounds, he was throwing like his shoulder into, you know, his punches because he was just that gas and he was trying to, and he was hoping to connect with a shot like that. But he was getting hit with, a, with everything but the kitchen sink. And I'm like, oh my God, man. It, it, but I mean, he fought back though. He won rounds. He fought back, val uh, what did you call it, valiantly. He fought back very, very, he tried to fight back as, as, as best as possible. But it was, <laughs> it was not enough, man. It was not enough, man. Um, Like I said, J-Rock took the fight to Jared Hurd. And he had Jared Hurd backing up. Something that Jared Hurd likes to do to other fighters that are smaller than smaller than him. He likes to be the bigger man and walk down fighters. Jared Hurd, I mean, uh, J-Rock did not allow Jared Hurd to do that at all. He didn't allow him the opportunity to do, to do that at all. Kept the fight in close quarters. And Jared Hurd could not fight in that in the close quarter range, man. Like and he couldn't he couldn't throw through combinations that J-Rock was throwing at him. And it made things extremely difficult. Um, let me see what else I had to say, man. Um, yeah, man, like again, Jared was gassed, and I don't know if he was nervous fighting in front of his home uh, fighting in front of his home crowd, in front of his fans. I don't know, but I mean, like <laughs> Jared Hurd was getting hit with everything, and I'm like, wow. But I mean, it made for a great brawl. Fighters, they was going back and forth because I'm not gonna act like Jared Hurd wasn't getting his shots in because he was. He was landing some great shots in, but I'm looking like, man, come with that right hand across the top. Ah, come right through with that right hand. He couldn't. He couldn't. He did it at moments in the fight, but I felt like he could have kept doing that. But he didn't, man. Um, J-Rock had quicker hands, and he seemed to have gotten stronger. Like, he was landing some. I mean, he had cruel intentions. Cruel intentions. He Like, he really wanted to hurt Jared, and he did uh, bust them open with some cuts. And let me just say this, too, man. J-Rock's, uh, not J-Rock, Jared Hurd's cornerman, his cut man, has got to be more professional. He got to get better. 
because he was caking up so much Vaseline on Jared Hurd's face that Jared, it was so much Jared trying to wipe it off, it's getting into his eyes and he can't see. It's already bad enough. He he had a stationary head. His head movement was not good. You can't see. You're going to get hit with some even more menacing punches, which he did. And I'm like, he tried to fight through it. But I'm like, yo, stop caking up all this dang on Vaseline. He looked like, you know, when your grandmama in the wintertime, I don't know if y'all lived in places with harsh winters. Our great grandmas and our grandmas used to cake up the Vaseline on our face to keep the wind from cutting up our face, right? He looked like the grandmas used to do before school in the morning time. I'm like, yo, stop putting all this Vaseline on his face, bro. Like, no, that's not it. He ain't, he cannot see. And I feel like they, they didn't realize that for whatever reason, man. Um, Yeah, man, Jared Hurd did not like those combinations from J-Rock at all. And it kept him... Bagging up and at bay, man. Uh, J-Rock used the jab to keep him at bay as well. So, I'm like, wow, man. <laughs> wow, man. It, I promise y'all, J-Rock, he showed the heart of a true champion, the heart of a lion, man. He got, he got, he took that tough loss to Jamal Charlo, and a lot of people wrote, wrote him off as done. They felt like he was finished. He was done. He was never going to return uh, to being a top contender or a champion. And um, he bounced back and he showed really what the heart of a lion, uh, what you can see from a heart, the true heart of a true fighter in boxing, man. Um, This is the thing, too. At the end of the fight, I, I keep talking about I, I wrote them uppercuts down so much, man. Them uppercuts was beautiful, man. I, I, man, I said, oh, my God, he's he trying to take this man's head off, decapitate him. Like y'all know on Mortal Kombat, when they used to land the vicious um uppercuts, I must say, whoopsie, knock him to the next floor. It was just like that. Hitting him to the up with them uppercuts, trying to knock that man to the next level. It was ridiculous, but J-Rock made a great point, man. J-Rock said that, you know, in boxing, people, like the boxing commentators like the right guys off after they take their uh, their first loss. When they take a loss, they feel like they're done with you. They throw you to the bar. They throw you to the back of the shelf and act like, you know, your career is over with. And I think that Floyd Mayweather... Floyd Mayweather's tremendous career had people believing that the moment you take a loss, you're done. Like, you can't take any losses or you just, you 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 know, you cook dinner, you chop liver, it's over with for you. And um, J-Rock, Julian Williams showed that that is not the case. Fighters can come back stronger. They can come back more mentally prepared for a fight. And um, they, can learn, they can learn from their past mistakes and pull off great victories. And which he did, man. And I got to give him credit, man. I agree with that sentiment, man. Y'all can't write off... Fighters because they took a loss. A lot of the top fighters, the greatest fighters in the world, all lost fights for the most part. Like Rocky Marciano, who Floyd Mayweather. Like Floyd got people feeling like you, you take the moment you take a loss, it's over with for your career. And not, that's not the case, man. Um, just like Jermero Charlo, he took the loss against Tony, Tony Harrison. He got to recognize his career ain't over with. You got to come back and bounce back with a tougher performance and try to um and and try to bounce back. Now, although, I, man, that banter back and forth between Tony Harrison and Jermail Charlo, oh, my Lord. It's, it's uh, Tony Harrison talking crazy to Jermail. He calling him every name out the book, and he ready for him. So I'm, I'm excited for that one. But, um, yeah, man, um, and great sportsmanship between the two guys, man, after the fight. Um, you still saw J-Rock giving Jared Hurd nothing but uh, respect, respecting them a lot, saying respectful things to his family, his mother. And um, man, he was—he just seemed so, so appreciative for that moment to redeem himself, which he did, man. Philly, stand up for y'all, boy, man. He—he he did his—he did the damn thing. He did the damn thing last night, man. And um, wow, man. <laughs> like this shows you anything can happen in boxing, man. Anything can happen in boxing, man. Um, Jared Hurd was talking about Charlo losing, man. Now he loses, so any anybody can take an L on any given night. J Rock was the better man. And um, Jared Hurd, man, it shows that you can't just rely on the sheer size, your sheer size to walk people down and feel like you're going to win every single fight. People thought that Errol Spence was that same type of fighter, but he showed them otherwise when he fought Mikey Garcia. He, he neutralized that man with a jab, Errol Spence, and he showed that he got boxing skills. He's not just a bigger guy, and I, he's not just going to impose his will because of his size and walk you down. No, the man can box, and he put on a boxing clinic against Mikey Garcia. Something that Jared Hurd has to do, man, and he has to improve his defense, man. Getting a hit, getting hit with too many punches, and I'm like, wow, he is sitting there, and I'm shocked he didn't get knocked down again. He got a chin because he got hit with a flat, uh, um, a flash shot 
you know, in that second round, but I'm surprised he didn't get knocked down again the way he was getting hit with them uppercuts and uh, them left hooks and right hooks. I'm like, wow, man. He is a tough fighter. Hold on. Let me see if I missed anything else that I wrote down because, again, I took down so many notes. Um, yeah, I always said, Jared Hurd does not transition from um, from offense to defense well. Uh, oh, yeah, J-Rock fought him on the inside, kept his hands up, not to take unnecessary punishment, and he used the jab to keep him off of him, man. <laughs> Jared Hurd was the bigger fighter, but it did not matter. It did not matter last night. J-Rock was the better man. Um, I'm interested to see what's going to happen moving forward. They said they want to run it back. Let's go ahead and run it back. And if and if they run it back, J-Rock should tell him, you got to come to Philadelphia, fight me in Philly, and then we could do it like that. Fight me in Philadelphia, in my hometown, and we can get it popping. Let's go ahead. Bring it back to your, bring it back to your hometown. Do it in front of your people so you so you can get the home crowd advantage. You being the new champion, and you can go to it, it can go down like that. And let's see if Jared Hurd can learn from this loss, like you did, J Rock. But all props and respect to J Rock, man. I'm proud of you, brother. You put on a show. I thought Jared Hurd was gonna win. Truthfully, I really thought he was gonna win. You showed me otherwise, and um, I'm happy for you, brother. Peace and blessings, y'all. I'm out.